Thank you. I, it's kind of hard to follow this last act, especially with what I'm going to talk about, but I'll give you a try. Um, my name is Michelle Barrett. I work for the United States Agency for International Development. It is U.S. government. I saw some um, interesting photos of my embassy in one of the other presentations, but some of us do some good work. Um, I was in Afghanistan from December 04 through July 05, and I was working with uh, the Office of Transition Initiatives. And these are my impressions of life in Afghanistan. It's not the official statement. This is just what I experienced from working out there. When I said behind the bulletproof glass, it's because I was always behind the bulletproof glass. These are all taken from, these photos are taken from uh, behind the, the thick plated glass in cars that we had to drive in, which were all um, armored vehicles. This is where I lived. We called it um, the world's most exclusive community. It's basically a trailer park. Um, the bottom photo is actually my room. It's kind of like a dorm room. Um, it was comfortable, but small. Um, and we all had to live on this. It was the embassy compound. There wasn't a lot to do there, as you probably can imagine. And it was um, kind of like living in a fishbowl. But we tried to have fun when we could. It usually just involved having a few parties or sometimes dinner. Um, with what we could cook with, which is usually small hot plates. Outside the compound, your life was pretty fun. I had friends who worked for the UN and from, for donor and NGOs, and they actually had a good time. I really didn't get to experience too much, because when I was allowed off the compound, we had a very early curfew. Traveling in Afghanistan, I did that a lot, and it was very, very challenging. Um, you can see the car actually ran over of mine. Um, and the plane was how we had to travel around, and it used to do these corkscrews to land, which was, if you don't like to fly, which I don't, it's kind of scary. Um, other forms of transportation, these photos are me, everybody keeps asking me that. I had to ride around in Humvees a lot. Um, the mule was one of my favorite forms of transportation, very useful in getting you up and down the mountains. Um, the U.S. military provided a chauffeur for me sometimes. Um, that's also me. <laughs> um, I had to get used to, to dressing very conservatively, long shirts, long sleeves, wearing a headscarf, bulletproof vest, always good for exercise, um, and getting used to lots of guns. But when you did get to travel, it was actually stunningly beautiful in a lot of the places. It's not like the photos you see of the city. Um, the, the countryside is, is really beautiful. That's in Badakhshan, which is in the upper northeast corner, um, close to China. Um, some of the other photos, the uh, Hindu Kush of the mountains, um, that, the bottom one is in Kabul, I'm not sure what it was, it was one of the ones where I sort of snuck off the Hong Kong, don't tell. Um, and the other, the top photo is taken in the north. Um, but it's really difficult to live in Afghanistan as, as an Afghan. Um, 25 years of war devastated the entire country. Um, lots of poverty, life expectancy, 43 years, it's lots of mal malnutrition, everything you can imagine is a very tough life. Um, the war remnants are still there. Those are Soviet tanks. There's also an um, airplane graveyard that I got to see. That's just an average, um, with the mule, an average street scene in Kabul. People go through garbage um, to get food. It's very tough. I worked on a lot of projects for women and girls, which was actually quite rewarding. Um, the women would just light up when they saw somebody come to visit them. Um, as a woman, I was allowed access to their life, which um, the men who worked for development agencies weren't allowed. And getting girls into school was really very rewarding. Some of the other projects we did, we built women's centers as a place for women to actually congregate so that they could talk to each other. Um, we funded micro-enterprise projects for widows and others just to get some sort of um, income. The voting was a big deal for women. This was the first time they were allowed to vote, and so they came out in droves. They still have to wear the, the uh, burqa, as you see in most places. Um, in Kabul, it's a little bit better. You don't have to wear it all the time. Big problem in Afghanistan is the opium production because of the puppies, and that's a lot of what we work on um, in Afghanistan. And it's not really getting any better. There's really no good answer for this problem because there's so much money to be made off of it. Farmers are forced into usually partaking in it. Um, the illicit economy is usually either agricultural, besides the puppy production, um, or micro enterprise. Um, there's always a hustle and bustle, and there's always food to be had in the streets of, of Afghanistan. It's incredible. Um, the people are incredibly warm and friendly, despite what you see on TV. You always see the bad things, but they're actually, I never felt threatened. Um, they were always welcoming. They would always just be very curious and look around at you um, and try and talk to you as much as they could. Um, and then the kids were always coming out of the woodworks just to talk to you or just to have their photos taken. You can make their days by taking their photos and turning around and showing them the digital camera spinning. 
And you can also see how diverse the uh, ethnic makeup is, because they look like they're from all over. <laughs>